Hello, YouTubians. Welcome to the Wolf Den. This is Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel, Jacksonville, Florida. Finally had a subscriber, a long time subscriber, send me a knife to get sharpened on that right there. Wicked Edge Gen 3 Pro. Sharpest of the sharp is with that right there. Wicked Edge Gen 3 Pro. Let's go to what Ryan up there in Maryland sent me, which is his pride and joy, obviously. And the reason I'm doing this video is not only he sent it to me, I've been asking for a year if people would send me knives so I could do a video on it if they have a unique, a unique knife. Maybe other people are looking for it on YouTube to see it before they purchase one. This is a White River fillet knife. I'm not all that jazzed about this uh, sheath. I believe they could have done a little something different because before I get into the actual knife, here's what the sheath is all about. You take, this is, it's almost like a carbon fiber or something right here. And it's got a button on the end. And it's got the button here. And you take this and you put it in there like that. But it's still, it's kind of, floppity bloppity here you know what I mean I would have liked it if the handle sticks out about this far you know just enough to grab it with two fingers but let's get into the knife made in USA look at that white river knife and tool it says USA 440c now that's cork the tang goes in there tang goes in there's this metal stainless here i don't know if now i'm not going to say that's carbon fiber it's more like micarta that's more of a micarta that's what that actually is and then you got the cork and i'm telling you this thing is so light it doesn't weigh anything i gotta be so careful you know a knife is really good and sharp when it literally grabs and i did cut myself believe it or not i cut myself right there the other day while i was sharpening this thing all i did was just bump it as ryan also known as Sure Sharp said, he said, this is so unique compared to one of these. He says, you got to kind of get used to the way the blade is. Your finger fits right in there. Is This is a delicate knife. This isn't for hacking. I'd call it semi-flexible. One thing you got to be very much aware of is that your finger right here. I mean, right there, you've got to be very aware. That right there can cut you. Alrighty, here we are. White River knife and tool. And I'm looking at fishing and the fillet knives. Let's take a look, see at these things. There you go. There's what they call the step up knife. The step up. That thing is pretty sweet. Got a little bit different sheath thing going on now. I'm sure Ryan's knife is a little older. It's more of a just a carry sheath. But look at that handle now. And look at that. S35VN super steel and then right here right here where my cursor is see it see this moving around right there that little cross it looks like they've taken they've taken that sharp point that was sort of there 
on Ryan's knife and kind of got rid of it. Same blade, different sheath. Then they got over here, it looks like they got a green one. Green one with, uh, looks like you could take the handle scales off. Right? Okay, let's see what it says. This hand finished full tang knife is made from precision ground heat treated cryogenically tempered CPM 35V or S35VN. The razor sharp edge is then leather honed to easily slice through fish with the utmost control and ease. The textured handle creates a strong, positive, non slip hand purchase in wet and slimy conditions. And the step-up design affords excellent visibility of the blade location for precise filleting and also provides extra knuckle clearance for very thin filleting, which to me would be fish skinning. All right, there it is, five ounces. The blade overall, overall length is 8.13, but... They make a traditional one too. Let's look at the tr traditional knife. Now that's getting back into the cork. 440C, 440C, regular blade. This one has a 440C steel and a Kydex sheath. Well, there you're, there's what you're looking at, that knife right there. That's going to be on my bucket list, I'll tell you right now. I'd be very, 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 very interested in that CPM S35VN steel. Warranty info, covered by the White River Knives Lifetime Guarantee. If you're not 100% satisfied with the knife, send it back for free repairs or replacements. No questions asked. What we're all really interested in is these two right here, and especially this one. Especially this one right here. That thing is bad to the bone. So what did I actually do with this knife? Number one, you know, it goes in the wicked edge like this, in the clamp. This is the clamping system. And first I wanted to find the edge angle of all three of these knives. I kind of had a, an idea. So you use a black magic marker, you put it up in the vise. I, I actually had a little piece of cardboard paper thing in there so I didn't scratch up the blade. And you run this marker down there and you take a very light stone. I usually take like a thousand grit and you just wipe and see because here's your angles down here. You can adjust, you can adjust your angles and you want to find your angle. And as you're sort of honing in on it, I use an angle cube and you do that by putting it up there like this and you find your angle and there's a whole process to go through and I believe this turned out to be I'm, I'm taking I can't really remember now but I believe it's about a 17 degree on each side is how I sharpened it thing is it's very very thin this isn't printer paper, this is really thin notebook paper. And I mean, I mean, as you can see, paper isn't always a super test, especially for like flaying a fish. Uh, but I mean, they all should be pretty much the same way. Ryan's the only guy that I've known that, <laughs> that saves these. But let's see how these do here. I mean, you can cut through it doing the an angles. 
right? I mean, there's the straight down. I mean, the thing is absolutely, absolutely razor sharp. And I hope that Ryan finds that it's as sharp as it was when he, when he got it. He said, I believe something, brother-in-law or something gave it to him for Christmas or his birthday or something like that. Yeah, somebody can give me one of these anytime they want. I'll take that one with the green micarta handle. All right, well, we'll wrap this up. So if you got a knife and you want to send it in, just go to uh, and email me. Jenny Wolf, J E T T Y W O L F, at gmail.com. And thanks for stopping by and taking a look see at this White River fillet knife. See this? Dexter Russell Cleaver. Do this on your Lansky. I don't think so. I'm putting a nice working edge on this Dexter Russell Cleaver with the Wicked Edge uh, Gen Pro 3. What did I just get done? This came sharp to me, but the edge was a little wonky. What I just did is I straightened it out and sharpened it. And now it's nice and sharp. It was sharp before when, I, when it was given to me. An Essie Rowan. Big giant bushcraft knife with micarta handles. Micarta or G10. One or the other. Had to be very careful because this is like 1095 or something non-stainless and then they put this coating on it. And this coating is very durable, but I had that much space so that you can't nick it up or anything like that. I taped the entire knife. So this was brought in for sharpening. This was brought for sharpening. That's a positive case. And then this is next. This is a Boker Stubby Strike Auto. It just was delivered from UPS to me literally five minutes ago. So we go from a cleaver to a giant Essie Bushcraft knife and then now, they say they put a little working edge on this. Well, I am going to put a wicked edge on it. This is an auto knife. California legal. Auto. That's the difference between a Lansky or any of these little small sharpeners that are kind of limited. I mean, there's nothing against them, but the Wicked Edge can do multiple, multiple different types of knives all in one shot. And that's the reason I have this Wicked Edge here at Quality Knife Sharpening. Thanks for watching.